Okay, class, today we're still in section 7.5. We're doing another extension. And today's title is Define Sequences Recursively. Define Sequences Recursively. Once again, make sure the section and title is in your notes. Um, our key vocabulary for today is recursive rule. Recursive rule. Our goal, to write and graph recursively defined sequences. Goal, to write and graph recursively defined sequences. In the previous extensions, you learned how to define arithmetic and geometric sequences explicitly. An explicit rule gives a sub n as a function of the term's position number in the sequence. For example, an explicit rule for the arithmetic sequence 3, 5, 7, 9, etc., is a sub n equals 3 plus 2 times n minus 1, or a sub n is equal to 2n plus 1. You can also define arithmetic and geometric sequences recursively. A recursive rule gives the beginning terms of a sequence and a recursive equation that tells how a sub n relates to the preceding terms. For example, a recursive definition for the geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, and 54 is a sub 1 equals 2 and a sub n equals 3 times a sub n minus 1. Okay, key, son, key concepts, so let's get this in our notes. Key concepts, so let's get this in our notes. Recursive equation for an arithmetic sequence. A sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus d, where d is the common difference. Recursive equation for a geometric sequence. A sub n is equal to r times a sub n minus 1, where r is the common ratio. Example one, write and graph recursively defined sequences. Write and graph recursively defined sequences. Write the first five terms of the sequence, then graph the sequence. A, a sub one is equal to five. A sub n is equal to a sub n minus one plus five. Solution, a sub one equals five. That's our first term. A sub 2, that is the second number in the sequence, is equal to A sub 1 plus 5. And that's equal to 5 plus 5, which is equal to 10. A sub 3 is going to equal to A sub 2, that was a 10, plus 5. That was the uh, difference. And that's equal to 10 plus 5, which is 15. A sub 4 is equal to A sub 3 plus 5 which is equal to 15 plus 5, which is 20. A sub 5 is equal to A sub 4 plus 5, which is equal to 20 plus 5, which is 25. Then we graph. And if you come over and read, we'll notice it says draw a graph. A sequence is a discrete function. A sequence is a discrete function. The points on the graph are not connected. And so when the points are not connected, it's called discrete. Remember that. When the points are connected, it is called continuous. Okay, now we just completed an arithmetic sequence. Now we're going to do a geometric sequence. So for B, A sub 1 is equal to 1. A sub n, one of those are rule, is equal to 2 times A sub n minus 1. So don't forget, this is our first term, and this right here is our common ratio. So, a sub 1 is equal to 1. a sub 2 is going to equal to 2 times a sub 1, which is equal to 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. a sub 3 is equal to 2 times a sub 2, which is equal to 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. a sub 4 is equal to 2 times a sub 3, which is equal to 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. A sub 5 is equal to 2 times A sub 4, 
which is equal to 2 times 8, which is equal to 16. And then once again, we graph. And also, we notice that our graph is exponential. Example 2, write recursive rules for sequences. Avoid errors. Avoid errors. Avoid errors. To write a recursive rule for a sequence, you must give both the beginning terms and the recursive equations. Write a recursive rule for the sequence A, 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14. Solution. The sequence is arithmetic with the first term A sub 1 equaling 2. And the common difference is D, for the common difference, is equal to 5 minus 2, which is 3. So all along here, the common difference is 3. Now, a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus d. So a sub n is equal to a sub n, n minus 1 plus 3. So a recursive rule for the sequence is a sub 1 equal 2. And a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus 3. So in other words, all you do is you take this rule and you locate what the common difference is. And once you know, know what the common difference is, along with your first term, then you have all you need to do, uh, all you would need to make the rule. So a sub 1 is equal to 2. And just taking this rule, replacing the d value, and then you've completed the problem. So a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus 3. And that's it. So you need this part and you need that part. Now in part B, we're working with 16, 24, 36, 54, and 81. The sequence is geometric with the first term a sub 1 equaling 16 and common ratio of 1.5. How do we find that? We found that by taking 24 and divided by 16, and it's 1.5. So we're going to follow our rule. A sub n is equal to r times a sub n minus 1. So a sub n is equal to, what is the r value? 1.5 times a sub n minus 1. So a recursive rule for the sequence is a1, our first term is 16, and then we found that the rule was a sub n is equal to 1.5 times a to the n minus 1. Okay, special sequences. In special cases, you may be able to write a recursive rule for a sequence that is neither arithmetic nor geometric. Consider the following sequence called the Fibonacci sequence. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. Notice that the Fibonacci sequence is neither arithmetic nor geometric. A2 minus A1 is equal to 1 minus 1, which is 0. While A3 minus A2 is equal to 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1. A2 divided by A1 is equal to 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. While A3 divided by A2 is equal to 2 divided by 1, which is 2. Up here, we tried to figure it out using an arithmetic sequence. And here, we tried to figure it out using a geometric sequence. Neither one worked out. You can still write a recursive rule for the Fibonacci sequence as shown in example three. Example three, write a recursive rule for a special sequence. Write a recursive rule for the sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. Identify the next two terms of the sequence. Solution, look at the sums of consecutive pairs of terms. A1 plus A2 is equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2. A1 plus A2 equals 1 plus 1, which is 2. A2 plus A3 is equal to 1 plus 2, which is 3. A2 plus A3 equals uh, 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. A3 plus A4 equals 2 plus 3, which is 5. So 5 is the fifth term of the sequence. 
So once again, a3 plus a4 is equal to 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. Beginning with the third term, each term is the sum of the two previous terms. Beginning with the third term, each term is the sum of the two previous terms. So a recursive rule for the sequence is a1, the first term, is 1. a2 is also 1. And starting with the third term, we're going to follow this rule. a sub n is equal to a to the n minus 2 plus a, excuse me, a sub n minus 2 plus a sub n minus 1. The next two terms after 13 are 8 plus 13 is equal to 21. And 13 plus 21 is equal to 34. Okay, now for those who may need, who may need further clarification, all right, here we go. Here we go. All right, now when they they say identify the next two terms of the sequence. All right, so the next two terms would be if we list all the terms, it would be term one, term two, term three, term four, term five, term six, term seven. So they was the, they want us to find term eight and term nine in terms of the formula. So here's our formula. A sub n is equal to a to the n minus 2, excuse me, a sub n minus 2 plus a sub n minus 1. So to find the eighth term, in place of n, I will put 8. In place of n, I will put 8. In place of n, I will put 8. So now what is 8 minus 2? That's going to be 6, so it becomes a sub 6. What's 8 minus 1? That becomes 7, so it becomes a sub 7. So a sub 8, or, or term 8 is equal to um, the, the addition of term 6 plus term 7. So what's term 6? That's the 8. What's term 7? That's the 13. So a sub 8 is equal to 8 plus 13, which is 21. Okay, we may begin our lesson. Okay, for this lesson, we're only going to complete 1 through 23, the odd. 1 through 23, the odd. And then we would do number 26, I believe it is. 1 through 23, the odd. And then number 26. That's all we're doing for this lesson. Thank you.